Noni, you've got one year left of high school baseball, summer baseball, fall baseball, mm -hmm. and then you, right now you've reclassified and you can head to LSU as early as next fall. When you get there, what do you think the transition will be like from this level to that level? Yeah, it'll be a big transition. Uh, a lot of it's going to go into this winter. I got to get I got to get there physically first, and then the rest will kind of will kind of develop over the by the time I get there in LSU. But I got to get my body right. Uh, I plan to gain about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle in all the right places, and uh, while keeping my speed. I want to get there physically and then uh, start working with Andy on everything else and uh, see what I can do there. What are some of those raw tools that you have right now that you think will need to be defined but are, are pretty good shape now? Yeah, I think uh, I think I can still improve my speed. My, my speed's a big factor, uh, arm strength, and uh, I've been told lots of bat speed was was a big deal, and um, and I just need to put them all together and uh, middle. Middle of the field is where I would like where I'd like to play, but anywhere where I can play in the lineup, wherever they put me, I'll be happy. Now we talked before about Riley Pint getting you kind of connected with LSU. How's that going to work going the other direction? Riley's got a going to have a pretty big decision to make come June about whether he heads to pro ball or LSU. How excited would you be for him to be in that purple and gold uniform with wow. you? Either either way, going it's it's going to be awesome. But if, if I had, if I had one of my best friends from Kansas City playing with me, that that would mean the world. It'd uh, be a big show for Kansas City, and uh, it'd, be, it'd be a lot of fun.